We start with the puzzle. There is a pattern to the way the SI prefixes are written, but one of them does not obey it. Which prefix is the odd one out? We'll give you the answer at the end of this video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy video for IB Physics about notation and multipliers. Here is the IB syllabus statement. You're expected to be able to use and recognize the metric multipliers from PETA down to FEMTO. This is an IB style question from paper 1 on the subject of notation and multipliers. By the end of this video, you should know how to answer it. The unit of force is called the Newton, which when we write it in full has a small initial letter. The symbol is written as a capital letter because it's named after a real person, like Joule, Ampere and Kelvin, whereas meter, mole and light year units are lowercase. There are seven fundamental units, as seen here in the diagram, and a large number of derived units, which are either combinations of the fundamentals, such as the meter per second squared, or they're given their own name, such as the joule. Nearly every quantity requires a unit to be written after it. As well as the unit, there is often a prefix which represents a power of 10, such as kilo before watt here. This example tells us that at the Earth's surface, on average, a square metre of ground receives 1,390 joules of solar energy every second. Most metric multipliers have indices which are multiples of 3. This table shows all the prefixes for quantities smaller than 1. Each unit can be written in four different ways in words, numbers, standard form or symbols. In the table, each row is 1000 times smaller than the one above it. A version of this table is in the IB Physics data booklet. It does not take long to learn these prefixes and it's much quicker than looking them up. You may already know milli and micro and most of the others sound like the number in their index. Nano is 10 to the minus 9. Femto sounds like 15 a bit and Atto is 18. Pico doesn't sound like 12, you'll just have to remember it. These prefixes show quantities each 1000 times larger than the one above it, starting with 1. You may have seen the prefixes in measures of computer information in kilobyte, megabyte, etc. Over the years, data measures have progressed from mega to giga to tera and peta and exa may not be far away. A few metric multipliers have indices, which are not multiples of three. These all are written with lowercase letters. To answer this question, we go to the data booklet to find the value of the breast mass of the proton, and we take account of the fact that it's in kilograms, whereas the question is asking about grams. And then we write down each of the indices for other options, add them together, and we find which one is minus 24. Here is the puzzle from the beginning of the video. You may have noticed that all of the prefixes for negative indices, such as nano, use lowercase letters, while the prefixes for positive indices, such as mega, use uppercase. The exception is kilo, which is a lowercase k, even though it means 1000.